What is that? Hello and thanks for joining me on the Ghanaian Farmer YouTube channel. My name is Enyona. Next to me is Felix Apia. He is the owner of Trisolis Farm and we are all the way in Kwe, a community called Shishi. And I have discovered something exciting is it exciting or strange or scary oh, he's both. keeping any any of them however you can describe it um, how long have you been keeping the snake the snakes are snake yes, yes snakes or war uh -huh. so the snakes were uh so we had a myth when we started farming that yes. there was a farm before us when uh -huh. we started uh -huh. that no one could steal anything from that farm the and i asked them why uh -huh. because they said the man is a juju man a fetish spiritual person if you take even one mango, snakes will follow you the whole day and then you put it back. <laughs> okay. So I said, okay, I'm not a fetish person, but I could do a lot of science out yeah. of that. So I started research okay. and I saw that the, every animal has markers. Okay. You see, when dogs go and they urinate on certain yeah. things, right. they can smell their yeah. own urine and yeah. tell them that pass left, mm -hmm. pass right. Mm -hmm. And other smaller dogs can smell the dog and say, no, there's a big dog here and All then... Right run away run. you know so there are markers in there okay. that a predator will leave its scent okay. and then uh, prey like uh, rodents rats and rabbits and all that will right. smell it and run away so you've been keeping it for three years yes we've been keeping it for what is the length uh, it is 19 feet how many do you have uh, we have about six six, six of yes six. do you feed it yes we feed them how many times uh, once every month what do you feed them uh, they eat rabbits rodents that we trap on the farms and other places around we use cages to trap them and then give it to them. Does it bite? No, it doesn't bite. It can bite okay. because it just holds the food okay. and just crawls around right. it and smashes it. Okay. Into it. Do you release it from the cage? Slightly. Okay. Sometimes when we feel that they are a bit not eating, uh -huh. it means that they've lost appetite, then we release them. Okay. They go around, but they always come back to eat right. and come back to stay here. Okay. You said you use the fecal matter for what? So we saw that we wanted as part of uh, climate control, uh -huh. we saw that People were using uh, urine of rabbits and all that to do pest controls okay. and uh, fertilizer and all that. So we saw that if this could also, uh, so some rodents like rats and mice mm -hmm. bring a lot of termites and other animals, mm -hmm. uh, mites, mm -hmm. that is a G and mm -hmm. other animals mm -hmm. there. Those are the ones that bring a lot of infestations and okay. pests. In the farm? Yes, in the so farm. So you mix the fecal matter with what? So we mix it with water. Then you spray, and spray around. it around. Okay. So every uh, rodent that gets there smells it, lift itself, look right, and then run away. Okay. So they are attacking other farms, right. but not our farms okay. because we are protected. They feel that is the territory of right. the snake and it's around. You said it's pregnant? Yes, this one is pregnant. How long? Uh, it's been about a month now. How many babies can it deliver? Five zero. Five zero. Yes. Fifty. Yes. So you're gonna have fifty yes. in how many? In the next in the next couple of months, maybe three months. You have fifty yes. of them. And yeah. then uh one of them is sold for eight hundred cities. Okay, so you will sell Some when it delivers. To other zoos, okay. other places so that they can preserve right. so that our kids and other younger one generation coming will know what a python and okay. other things. And if you keep them at the early stage, they become friendly. What weather is good for them? Oh, they like uh, just the same weather as humans, not so hot, not so cold. Okay. They are uh, cold-blooded, right. so they need a little bit of sunlight okay. as well, okay. so that they can, yeah. All it's right. really looking at you, I think it likes it you. It is, hello, <gasps> but I'm not afraid. you are not my friend. Yes. Alright, so thanks for watching. If you, if you want to try this, you can contact Felix to help you on how to go about it. But you said a long-term plan is to have a zoo. A zoo. Alright. So we're going to build a zoo mm. where we have investors. Investing. This is in Quill, okay. where a lot of people about have uh, one third of Ghanaians. Right. It started making noise. Okay. Right? It's, it's threatened by you. Okay. As well. So uh, half of Ghanaians, almost one third of Ghanaians, right. come to enjoy. Okay. There are no side attractions. Okay. So we're trying to build a big zoo here because I have tortoises, okay. I have a whole lot of animals that we're going to do a petting mm. zoo, especially for the younger ones, oh. schools to come, touch animals, learn about them. 
and that is always better all right so thanks for watching this is the uh, amazing thing i have seen today in trishi bye bye